just like nature. It's what we're all about. I tell you what, I tell you. <laughs> this is just fantastic. Wagons, ho! Oh, oh. Thank your mother for the rabbits. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Yes, in the end, that's probably why we all go fishing. So early morning, pre-winter in the snowy mountains, I tell you what folks, it's fresh and it's great to be alive. And I'm with Steve Williamson today. Now Steve Williamson runs an adventures program called Steve Williamson's Fishing Adventures. And welcome to the show, it's good to have thanks, you on thanks. board Steve. Thanks a lot. Steve is a fishing guide and fishing guides take people out to catch fish. But Steve also teaches people to catch fish. And because I'm getting into a bit of trolling at Lake Eildon in the next month or two looking for a big trophy trout, I thought I'd just freshen up on some of my techniques by taking Steve and saying what am I doing right and what am I doing wrong. Now, trolling is more than just towing a lure and a fish committing suicide. Absolutely, you have to, Rex, you've got to know your lures, you've got to know everything about the water. There's a whole package that you've got to know to successfully troll. Now, with this thing here you've got in your arm, a lot of people would say, they mustn't catch many fish because this bloke's in the model boats. But this is not quite the same. Well, you've got to, our viewers will be saying, what on earth have you got? Please answer the question. This, this Rex is a um, trolling board. It was introduced um, into Australia probably about uh, 10 years ago. They've been using them in America for a long time. Um, the main reason that we use them, uh, I suppose, is to spread lures out from the boat to get the uh, lures away from the boat so the noise of the boat, the, the engine noise, everything else doesn't uh, scare the fish away. Um, but it has a lot of other uses as well. Okay, well, as I said folks, we're going trolling. We're just not towing lures. We're working them at various depths. We're using different style lures to give an action so a fish might come up and go bang. We're in one of the most pristine areas of this country and more importantly, we're in one of the best big fish producing areas and it's a great day for fishing. Rex, this is our trolling board and uh, what we do is we put this out into the water and the angle at the front of the board's cut hat forces the board to go side onto the boat just like a, uh, a paravane sort of situation. So we just plonk him into the water. Let him out a little way. Once the board's out there, you can see that the board just uh, bobs along. That's also very good because it, uh, once we get the lure attached to it, that imparts extra action onto the lure. So we're using here a Tasmanian devil lure. We decide on how far back we want that uh, lure to go. Just give it a little bit of a cast out into the water. A little bit of line out. Usually I like to troll with a long drop back. Find our release clip. It's just a little alligator clip. A little, couple of little rubber jaws there. Attach the line into the alligator clip. Release clip clips onto our trolling line, and then we just let the clip run out to the trolling board. From there, we can then decide how far out we want the trolling board, and then we can just continually let the whole lot out further and further and further, anywhere up to about 30 metres, Rex. Now, once we're all set up there, 
all we have to do is uh, decide on how far into the sh edges of the shoreline that we want to go and we just drive, drive in nice and close. That brings the lure in right into the shallows, keeps the uh, lure away from the boat, from the noise of the boat and uh, hopefully don't scare the fish away. So basically it's an outrigger on a string? Outrigger on a string. We can go a bit further out than a normal outrigger though, yeah, exactly. So Steve, we've got the spread, we've got the depths, we've got the lures, we've got the speed. Why here? Why here, Rex? Weed beds. Good weed beds under us. We've got uh, all those little creatures that live amongst the weed that the fish eat, the yabbies and all those little larvae and all mud eye larvae, all that's here. So we're just trying to keep those lures just above those weed beds so that uh, the fish can see, come up and we catch them. when we come over the top of that plateau too, mate. Yeah, just that little ridge. Wow. Well, well, it's been tough, folks, I can tell you now. I feel like I should have been riding a camel with my Uncle Arafat. And we've come up here in absolute blizzard conditions. Up there on Mount Kosciuszko, it's absolutely teeming with snow at the minute. But I wanted to catch a fish on the lead line, so the suggestion was to put the lead line down and he's a little feisty rainbow. Look at that, Stephen. And you caught him! Oh. Sensational! Oh. We actually, I've actually lost the lure. So the lure's gone and in mid-air, Stephen has caught this beautiful feisty rainbow of around about a pound and a quarter. Now, this one here, we'll just check for... Uh, He's got all his fins intact, so he's probably a natural spawn fish, Steve, is he? That'd be a natural spawn, yep. A little football. By gee, I tell you what, he might even be a pound and a half. Beautiful but rainbow. I always explain to people when we haven't got that big red stripe, the tail is spotted, and that gives away the fact that it's a beautiful rainbow trout because they get silver sort of, it's probably because of the very clean water, is it? The silver scales. Yes. It's a beautiful water here, drinking water. So there you are, mate. Well. He can go back and we might see him again in the snowy mountains. But if you come to the snowy mountains, bring the right gear and it's not shorts and thongs. It's a beautiful part of the world. <laughs> I'm going to put him back. It is a beautiful part of the world and away he goes. I'll tell you what, folks, if only Stephen and I could explain to you how much time we've put in just to get that fish. But still, the fishing can be better than that. It can be, Rex, if we uh, bit a bit of snow for the skiers now, so we're all happy. Fantastic, we're all happy too. And if you come up here, go and see Steve Williamson and tell him Rex sent you. And you know what he'll say? Uh, Rex who? <laughs> Good on you, Steve. Thanks, Rex. All the best to you.